What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming, and today, guys, I'm bringing you a new video on how to use the save editor for Resident Evil Revelations 2 for PS3. So, Brute Force Save Data has dropped their save editor for the game, and I actually just downloaded it a couple of hours ago. I tested it a little while ago, about 30 minutes ago, and it is actually working. So, I want to show you guys how to get it to work. And before I actually do that, I want to tell Brute Force Save Data's community, thank you for doing what you do. This is an amazing editor. I know you guys are working on updating it and making it even better. But for right now, everybody should be good to go. You should be able to get through episode one with this same editor. And when the rest of the episodes come out, they'll have the other one or the updated version. But first and foremost, let me actually open it up and show you guys how I got it to work. So basically, I'm gonna open it up. Give it a second. And this is version one. So you go to your file, you go to open. And I, my save is on my desktop. This is the US version of the game. I hit open. I, I select this, hit open. And it's successfully decrypted. And I'm gonna use Claire. And as you guys can see, this is what I have equipped for Claire. So what you can do here, you got 10 slots, and you can select the items you want from the drop down. So basically, this is everything here you can select, whatever you like. Now, I want to point out two things before you use this. There's an unknown item here. Do not select that. Now, if you do, two things can happen. One is your save can get corrupted, or you can experience an error in the game. So for right now, do not use unknown error. I do not know what it's supposed to do, but from what I was reading on Brute Force Save Data's community, it's giving people a lot of problems, so just don't use it. Second thing is the unlimited rocket launcher. Some people got this to work, some people did not get this to work. And what this does is lets you shoot off unlimited rocket launches with Claire. Now, if anybody knows how to do this correctly, send me a message on my youtube channel and write like a little step by step of how you got it to work some people just got it to work off the back so if you select this and it works for you you're good to go so again i'm not too sure because i didn't use it uh another thing i want to point out to you guys is with the herbs now when i had to use the herbs i put 30 herbs thinking i might have slot one with 30 herbs but that's not how it works for with the herbs i did 30 and i had five or six slots each with three herbs and it didn't even give me 30 herbs it gave me like 27 herbs but try to set this to a realistic number if you're gonna use herbs like i use 12 so that would mean four slots each one have three maxed out in herbs so just be careful on what type of values you use for certain things because it may not work the way you expect it to work so i'm giving you a heads up but pretty much this save editor is working. I experimented with it for like five, 10 minutes. I only played five, 10 minutes in the game and it did work. So, you know, let me know what works and what doesn't work. Um, let me go over to raid mode. And you guys, I haven't played this either, but pretty much it's self-explanatory. You know what you need to do and how to use it. If you play raid mode, your gold, so on and so on right now i'm just messing with campaign mode um i don't really go online that much but you know when the rest of the episodes come out and the game is complete i may go online but that's pretty much it you can set your bp points down here a thousand five thousand ten thousand so on and so on and so on and you should be good to go so once you have everything you want for your character you just hit save character so like i'm doing clear right now I didn't because that's the only one that I equipped this stuff for. So I hit save current character. Now I go to file here and hit save. Right? Give it a second. It's doing what it's doing. Just wait. And as you guys can see, successfully saved. Once you hit this point, you can just hit no. I am going to donate to these guys, but just not right now. So I'm going to hit no. And that's pretty much it. You copy the save onto a USB flash drive and, you know, put it back on your PlayStation and you should be good to go. Now, keep in mind that if you do certain mods and it doesn't work, 
it could be the value uh, what you set it up to so you may have to drop it down to a more realistic number so you may have to play with the same edit a couple of times but for the most part it is working now another thing I want to point out to you guys is up here extra tools decryptor and checksum fixer right now you don't need to use this on your save they just put it in here just in case if you do need to use it but for right now when I did my save I did not use that I just did all the steps that I just showed you and it worked so don't think that you have to use this after you mod just say no uh, or I don't know for right now because it worked for me and I didn't use it but that's pretty much it and one more thing that I want to point this out you see these three files here or four one two one two three and four once you close the save editor they're gonna disappear when you're doing your save, you don't need to touch any of these files. Just leave it alone and it will disappear. So right now I'm going to close this out. And they're going to disappear. And that's it. And that's pretty much it to using the save edit. I figured, you know, let me take time to show you guys how to mod your Resident Evil Revelation to save. <laughs> that's a whole lot to say. But pretty much that's it. As always, guys, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. Subscribe. Leave a like for this video. And... Peace.